Good morning to all. Today I'm going to show you how to install NICT mobile application. So first and foremost thing is you have to go to Play Store. So I'm going to the Play Store. Under Play Store, search for an app which is NICT space edu. So NICT edu is the name of the application. So I'm just typed it NICT with one space edu and click on the search button. So it's going to show you the apps. In that select the first app which is NICT computer education NICT edu click on that and click on the install option so software is now getting installed on your mobile so as soon as the installation is over you will get a finish button at the bottom just click on the finish so installation has been completed now close all the thing play store and on your mobile there will be an application on the top right corner you can see NICT logo that is your NICT mobile application so just click on that so it's going to open the application so click on the student and enter your mobile number okay so in this case i'm just entering 7829844855 say proceed it's going to ask for the password so in this case generally it's going to be NICT01 as the password write the password and then say sign in as soon as you say sign in this is the screen what you're going to get go to my profile go to upload and you can upload your resume or just say back to come out of it so under the options you have an option which says exam click on the exam now go to an option called as online exam under online exam you have an option in green color button which says online with practical marks so just click on that now you have options to start exam blue color bar you have start exam click on that so read the exam rules objective type mcq questions all rules say i agree and click on continue button it's going to ask for the exam pin so generally the exam pin will be given five minutes before the exam starts so in this case i'm just entering the exam pin so let's say double five double six six seven is the exam pin so enter the exam pin and then say start exam so exam has started now wait for one 30 seconds the exam is loaded so it says one out of 30 questions read four options generally every question will have four options use the scroll bar to go up down select the option and then click on the next button forward button so that it goes to the next question so right now you have question number two answer it say forward it says question number three so like this you can answer all the questions okay so once you answer all the questions the exam will be submitted so randomly i'm just selecting some answers now i'm just going forward so i'm just randomly selecting the questions and going forward so that i can answer all it is mandatory for you to answer all the questions so right now i'm in the question number nine so it's gone to question number ten so I'm just randomly kicking the options so that I can complete the exam and show you how to do it. Okay. So I'm just going forward. Some more clicks. Without answering, it will not take you to the next question. It is mandatory to answer all the questions. So I'm just clicking on the questions going forward. So right now I'm in 26th question, 27th question. Okay. So you can see there's a small arrow on the top corner before the time. Right now it says 22 minutes, 36 seconds is still there on your exam. Click on the arrow. It shows you all the exam details. So select whichever question you want to go back. Let's say question number two. Select two. It goes to question number two. You can change the answer. So this question also tells you which you have answered, which you have not answered. So I'll go to 30th question answer it then click on the arrow go back to 28th question answer it so you can select whichever questions you want okay now again i'll say 28th answer it say next it goes to 29th question next okay. it goes to the 30th question this is the last question okay so make sure to click on the arrow to see whether you have answered all the questions or not okay now 30th question and say forward it'll say do you want to submit the exam i'll say yes submit it it says thank you your examination has been successfully completed you can click on the close button which allows you to close your exam so this is how you take your online exam using nict mobile application thank you